As much as I'd like to deny it, without structure, it is 10 times harder to get goals accomplished and for us to reach them and for us to make our dreams come true. So if you guys don't know, I am Crystal Ray. I am an empowerment coach and a life balancing strategist, and I'm sharing with you all my tips to help you stress less and really help you become that empowered person and feel the way you want to feel and create that dream life that you are looking for. Today, we are gonna be talking about how to plan your week. So it is Sunday and on Sundays, I like to think about what I have to do for the next week. I like to think about planning in a few different types of ways. And I do have a planner that makes life 10 times easier. So I'm gonna show you the planner directly. But let's just talk about for a second, what does it mean to structure your time? And back in the day, I used to think that I didn't have enough time. I didn't have enough time to cook or all these other things, but really, I wasn't making the time. And instead, I was really spending a lot of time watching TV or just allowing myself to get caught up in social media or just giving myself excuses that were keeping me from doing the things that I know I wanted to do. And it wasn't until I started to get my health coaching certification while also training for an NPC bodybuilding competition and also working a nine to five that I really realized how much time I actually have. And so now I sit here as somebody who works a nine to five, has my own business. So I coach clients and I do all my own social media and everything like that. I create these videos for you. I have a podcast. I do a lot of different things when it comes to that sphere. I also am signed with two different modeling agencies. So I go to casting calls. I get booked for modeling gigs. I also have an Etsy shop. So I make rings and I make bracelets. So I do a lot of different things. And then on top of it, I work out consistently. I aim for three to five days a week, depending on what's going on and how I'm feeling. And I also eat very restrictive. So cooking for me is a priority. I also make sure that I drink a lot of water and there's still family events and things and all this other stuff going on. But today I want to show you and teach you how I utilize my time efficiently. So let's talk about time, okay? In many ways, time can feel like it can stop. Whenever we get involved in a activity in which we are like so excited about or really passionate about, time seems to just feel differently. And there's another thing about time is that when we start looking at it differently, it will start to feel differently. So once you realize how long things actually take you, you can start scheduling your life and your day differently. And what I mean by this is that if you recognize that you know, going on Facebook, you can be on there for 10 minutes to create a post, or it's only gonna take you 20 minutes to cook dinner. You have to learn how long activities actually take you. And once you figure out how long activities actually take you, now you can have a realistic way of scheduling your time and really figuring out where you're gonna fit everything. And so I like to think of all this as like the biggest jigsaw puzzle ever. And I like to look at my schedule three different ways. So I like to look at it from a month view, a week view, and a day view. And so when I look at it from a month view, it's like, okay, what activities that are going on in my life that I absolutely can't miss? Are there concerts? Are there family events? Are there friend events? Let me put that down on the calendar first. Cool. Now let me look at it from a week perspective. Okay, well, what are my goals for this week? And same thing with the month. Like, what are my monthly goals? What do I want to get done this month? For me, the month of June, I am putting out a YouTube video every single day. So that is my goal for June for this month, to put out a new video every single day. Another goal could be to really transform my body and make it to the gym five days a week, every single week, or change my workout style up. Like, the goals change. And I will have multiple goals during a month. And right now I do have a few different goals during the month. But overall, okay, what are my monthly goals? Okay, so this is what I wanna have happen this month. In order to make this happen, what do I need to do every single week? So we work backwards. Okay, in order for me to transform my body, I want to be in the gym five days a week. In order for me to make a YouTube video every single month of June, I want to record 30 videos, right? How, how am I gonna make, get to this end goal? So once we figure out what are the steps that we need to take in order to get to that end goal, now it's a question of when are we going to do them and how are we going to structure our time? So now we look at things on a daily basis. Well, if you're somebody who's like me who works a nine to five still, okay, well, Monday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., I am at another job, that is real. Okay, so when can I record? I can record on a Saturday, I can record on a Sunday. When can I edit? I can edit every single night when I get home from work. I can also wake up early and edit in the mornings. Great, well now I know where I can fit in this goal. How am I going to make that happen? 
I'm going to spend some time during the weekend recording. I'm going to spend every night editing and I will get as far ahead on editing as I can. Now let's think about it from a gym perspective. Okay, I want to transform my body. Well, what nights can I cook? Okay, Sunday I can cook. I can get my meals set. Another day that I could cook, uh, maybe Wednesday. Let me make it Wednesday. I'm gonna write this down in my planner that on Wednesday I'm going to cook again. So Wednesday night I might not go to the gym. When do I have my coaching clients? Okay, well I have my clients on Monday and Tuesday, so I already know that that's booked. That's already in my schedule. So I like to think of all of this as what are the different activities that you wanna do? Cooking, going to the gym, meditating, maybe reading a book, coaching clients, working my day job, okay? Recording videos, editing, making rings, structuring it all together. So from my perspective, I like to think of it as in puzzle pieces. And I can move everything around and I can find where I have minutes here or there. One of the things right now, like I'm sitting here recording this video for you guys, but on the stove, I'm cooking pasta and split peas. I'm doing something at the same time. And that's one of the biggest things when it comes to utilizing your time in a way that makes sense. I'm not just standing there watching it cook. I'm using my time in a different way. And this is something that I do all the time and it's one of the most amazing things. It's doing two things at once. It's having something going on that you can walk away from while you also do something else at the same time, if that makes sense. So figuring out what activities that you could do that with is going to be absolutely crucial and clutch. Behind all of this, you just have to get really real about how long things take you and how long you need in order to get something done. You'll be surprised. Sometimes you think that you need longer than you actually really do. We really wanna work on our mindset and how we are viewing time and figuring out a way as to how we can use it to our benefit and how time is serving us. So my best advice is for you to come up with a list of things that are your non-negotiables and then things that you want to get done this week. And then the non-negotiables are things that you're going to do every single day or however often. And no matter what, it's going to get done. Nothing is going to sidetrack you. Nothing's going to keep you from getting it done. They are non-negotiables. They have to happen. No if, ands, or buts. So when you're scheduling out your week, what you want to do is you want to come up with that list of non-negotiables. You want to come up with those things that you absolutely want to get done. Then you want to come up with a list of things that, you know what, so-so, it's okay if it really doesn't happen. And then you're going to structure your days out. And so you're going to look at your time from a daily perspective and you're going to say, okay, what am I doing today? Well, where can I fit this in? Where do I want to do this? Where do I want to have this? This is going to be my day to work out. This is going to be my day to create. This is going to be my day to spend with time with family. This is going to be my day to be with friends and you're gonna just pick and choose your days. And of course, you're going to allow yourself some type of flexibility, so if you want to switch things up and change the order and move things around, you're more than welcome to. Like, none of this is set hard in stone, but the things that you say that you're going to get done this week, you are going to get them done this week, and that's what it's gonna be. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys the planner that I've been using, and the sun is going down on me, so I've been racing trying to get this video done for you, but I will. I am going to turn on the light. So, so here is the launch planner, and this is the planner that I've been using lately, and the quality of it is so, so amazing. I absolutely love it. But there's this metal clasp right here in which we open it up. I'm just gonna flip straight to June, and every single month it has a different quote. So for this month, I am not my mistakes. And then it gives you the monthly calendar. So this is where I would put everything that I have going on for like the month, all my big events, all my big occasions. And if we flip through here, one of my goals for this month of June is to put out one YouTube video every single day. And then some of my projects, I have my Etsy shop, I have my coaching. So this is where I would put my priorities. So this is for June planning. Then we come over here, this is for business partners. So my money goal, my money coming in and out, monthly net, etc. So this is really great if you're somebody who has your own personal business. And then we flip it back here, connections to make, people to hire, resources to find, questions to answer, issues to address, and then my monthly budget. My income, my total in versus my total out, how much everything costs me for the month, but this is another place I would go to track my monthly income and my wish list, my gifts and events. So this is just really good if you're somebody who likes to budget, whether you have a business or not. 
The next thing is this tasks list. So these could be all the tasks that I need to do. Let me get into the actual days. This is a habit tracker. And so I absolutely love the habit tracker because I can write down all the different things that I want to do and I can keep track of did I do them during these different days and to do more of something versus to do less of something. I think this is probably my favorite page in this entire planner. And so it also includes meal planning. So like, what am I going to cook for breakfast, lunch and dinner? What am I going to get weekly groceries? You can also calculate in the budget. And then you have your daily schedule. So like I said before, for. I like to break my days out by monthly, weekly, and daily. So this is where I would write what I'm gonna do for every single day. If we flip back, this is where I would write what I'm gonna do for the entire week. So what am I, you know, a weekly rough draft of what I'm gonna get done on these different days for the week. This planner really does help me when it comes to being more organized and planning out, okay, what do I want done on a monthly basis, a weekly basis, and a daily basis. So super helpful, the quality of it is so amazing. You're capable of putting papers into all these different places. But when it comes to scheduling and structuring your time, it's really essential that we have to start getting deliberate with our time. So in order to make these big changes, in order to change our life in the way that we want to, we just got to start to be more deliberate and schedule. And there, you're able to have flexibility within your schedule. That's totally possible. But just know like you're going to have to start to utilize your time in a specific way and really be specific with it. So don't be shy when it comes to creating a schedule. Don't shy away from it. A schedule is really just going to help you create that life that you want and help you change whatever it is and get closer to your goals. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And in the comments, let me know what are some of your best tips when it comes to scheduling your time and what are some of your key takeaways from this video. But I appreciate you and thank you for being here. And until next time, bye.